I'm willing to bet that you're working too hard. Don't stress though. By the end of this video, you will have an exact repurposing strategy that you can use to turn one piece of content into several pieces of content. Therefore, saving you a lot of time, a lot of energy, and hopefully helping you work a little bit less. This video is sponsored by Taja, by the way, more on them later. Okay, so I'm actually gonna do this whole process with you. We are going to take this YouTube video and we are going to turn it into multiple different pieces of content. We're gonna start with a YouTube video because YouTube videos, specifically the longer ones, like the ones that you're watching right now, they are very rich when it comes to how much content they include. Also, depending on your niche, they probably took a lot of research for you to create and also a lot of time and energy for you to produce. We therefore want to take the richest piece of content, so it's got loads of stuff in it, and also the piece of content that took the most energy for us to create, and we want to use that as our hero piece of content. This is going to be the piece of content that creates all these other mini pieces as a result of all the time and effort you put into that one YouTube video. So as I said, we're going to use this YouTube video and the first batch of content that we're going to create using this video are going to be short cut downs. Okay, so short cut downs are essentially vertical videos that you can share on TikTok, on Instagram Reels, on YouTube Shorts, amongst other places. They are literal clips of your YouTube video. So we are literally gonna take footage from your YouTube video. We are going to cut it down, crop it so it's vertical and give it some subtitles using Taja's AI tool, okay? So I'm gonna open up my Taja account so you can see it on the screen. I actually use Taja for a bunch of different uses. I'll take you through those, don't worry. But as you can see, I've been using Taja for a while, so there are quite a few videos already uploaded on there. What I want you to do, if you're new to Taja, is to head to the link in my description to join, and then to click on the YouTube video button and enter your YouTube video URL. So it has to be either public or unlisted, ideally. So my video has already been loaded. Let's scroll, it's gonna be this one. So we're gonna click on it, and straight away, you're going to see a bunch of different information that Taja has generated for you using AI. We're gonna use a few different bits of this information a little bit later when we're creating different types of content. For now, what I want us to do is focus on the short cut downs. So for us to do that, we want to click on the view shorts button or for you, it might say something like generate shorts. So once we click on that and once it's loaded, you will be presented with a few different short cut down options for you to share across multiple platforms, literally within five minutes or less just from using Taja. So I think the one that I wanna use, I've already looked at some of these, it's probably this one, I'll play you a few seconds. Whilst my relationship with the niche may not change, whilst I might not get bored of creating this content. There we go. Just a few clips so you can see what it looks like. It's literally the footage from my actual video. So it's super quick and super easy for us to use for repurposing. There are a few different things you can do when you create short cut downs using Taja. You can move the captions, for example. Also, it's going to suggest a title for you. This suggestion is why your niche will change, a creator's tale, and then it has a bunch of hashtags that you might wanna use. And it gives you tags that you might wanna use as well. It's up to you whether or not you choose to do so. If you click on this little edit button here, it will allow you to get a bit more specific about the look and feel of this cut down. For example, you'll be able to make some changes to the captions should you want to. You can also click this button here and change the design. So here you can change the style of captions that you might want to click. I quite like the look of this one. Or maybe this one. There's a few different options we can do here. What's this one look like? I like that one. And then I'd probably move it down, right? Anyway, so that's what you could do. You could change the text color so it matches your branding. You could take change the size. You can also clip the video in here as well in case you want it to start a little bit later, finish a little bit sooner, etc. And once you've done all of that, you can click this download button and it will save it to your desktop. Ready for you to reshare across YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram Reels. Now, the amount of shorts that you'll be able to generate that you will want to reshare will depend on the style of content that you create. If you do a lot of educational sit down talking head videos like I do, you're probably gonna have a lot of videos that you can create. If you do more vlog style, it might be a little bit harder and maybe you only get one short cut down as a result of following these steps. Regardless, creating one real TikTok or short as a result of a piece of content you've already created within five minutes or less is a huge win. Now I'm going to count this as three pieces of content. The reason why is because as long as you were able to get one short cut down from your YouTube video, and ideally if that cut down was under 60 seconds, I'll explain why in just a moment, then you'll be able to share that one piece of content as a TikTok, as an Instagram reel and as a YouTube short. So that actually totals 
three different pieces of content that you can now share with your audience from that one existing video. The reason why I said it needs to be 60 seconds or under is because the time limit for a YouTube short is 60 seconds. So if you wanna be able to repurpose this one cut down across all three of the major platforms, you want it to be under 60 seconds so that it works across all of them. The current maximum length of an Instagram reel is 90 seconds, but for some people it's three minutes because that's what they're testing and rolling out. I mean, on TikTok, the other day they were testing 60 minute uploads. So basically the sky's the limit on that platform. <laughs> All right, let's move on and create a different format of content using the same YouTube video. This time we are creating graphic carousels. I'm gonna put an example of what I'm referring to on the screen. These are often shared as an Instagram post or they're shared as a YouTube community post. If you are a YouTuber and you're not utilizing your community tab, I want you to go ahead and start doing that now. There used to be limits on who could use their tab based on how many subscribers you had, but I'm pretty sure that limit does not exist anymore. So it's open to everyone and it's a great way for you to engage your YouTube community. Before we get into how we create this carousel. Quick caveat to mention, on Instagram, the maximum limit of slides you can have on a carousel is currently 10, although they are testing 15. On YouTube, it's currently five. So remember that, okay? Right, so how are we gonna create a carousel from this one video? We're gonna get our trusty friend Taja AI back up and we are going to click on the video, which was this one, and we are going to focus on this section. Here you can see the transcript. Absolutely love this feature. Taja AI will generate a transcript of your entire YouTube video for you to use. Now, instead of ignoring the transcript, because you might be thinking, why would it be useful for me to have a written version of everything I said? You actually wanna use this to create different styles of content. And in this example, a carousel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head on to another trusty friend of ours, ChatGPT. We are going to copy our transcript and we are going to enter a command before we paste the transcript into ChatGPT. So I'm going to enter, summarize into Instagram carousel bullet points, maximum five slides see what it does. And then I just pasted the entire transcript. Look how long this is. My God, love to talk, don't I? Let's see what it creates. Honestly, I don't think I'll ever get over the speed in which AI operates. It scares me. Look at that. That was in real time, seconds. It just took this entire transcript, this entire video, which took me hours to create. My God, look how long is it? And summarized it into five slides in less than 30 seconds. Let's have a look at what it's done. So the title of this slide would be my journey from nine to five to full-time creator, quit my job 2.5 years ago, seen many creators do the same and some return to a nine to five, but here's my experience, lessons and regrets. And then as we slide down, you can have a read of this yourself, but what it's basically doing is it's summarizing my entire video and it's turning it into text that you can use on Instagram carousel. I'm smiling to myself a bit because this is actually wild. You might be reading this and thinking, okay, this is a bit too summarized for me. And you might want to actually rewrite this into paragraphs if you prefer that for your carousels, or maybe you wanna leave it as bullet points if that works for you too. Again, the same caveat applies here that I've mentioned previously, which is that this style of repurposing will work best for some niches and some styles of content than others, but don't knock it until you try it. Because let me tell you, AI is impressive and you never know what it's going to give you. So the next step would be for you to copy and paste the text that you've just generated and to put it into your own carousel or template, choosing the editor of your choice, whether it's Pixar, whether it's Canva, etc. And that, my friends, brings our grand total of pieces of content up to five, because that has generated one carousel that is five slides and under, which means we can share it as a YouTube community post and we can share it as an Instagram graphic carousel too. So we're now up to five pieces of content using this one YouTube video. Let's keep it moving. All right, next up, we are going to use the same YouTube video and we're going to create some long form written content. This is perfect for anyone who has a website or a blog and they're looking for new entries. Honestly, guys, I've been meaning to create a blog for about three years now. Tell me why I haven't done it. Now that I have this process, there's really no excuse because honestly, creating blog posts using this system is the easiest thing in the world. So if you create a blog, this is gonna be for you. And if you have an email newsletter, which I hope you do, and if you don't have one and you want to create one, then watch the masterclass that I will link below. You are going to want to pay attention to this process because it's going to allow you to create email newsletters and blog posts within seconds. We're gonna head back into, you guessed it, Taja. Let's get the video back up. Up. And we are again going to be focusing on the transcript. So here is the transcript. We're going to copy and paste it again. We're then going to head into ChatGPT and we're going to give ChatGPT a different prompt. This time we're going to say, turn into a email newsletter. We're going to give it a character limit of 500 or word limit, sorry, 500 words or less. Simplistic, informal, 
and friendly language. What I'm doing here is I'm describing my tone of voice. My brand's tone of voice is informal or friendly. I want you to read my content or listen to my content and feel like it's a mate talking to you about this stuff. I include simplistic, even though this isn't usually something that I hold on to in my content, but I include simplistic because ChatGPT can sometimes overcomplicate things. And a lot of the time when I ask it to write copy for me, it spits back something that is just full of all these buzzwords and jargon and just sounds like corny. So usually when you include the word simplistic, it gets rid of all of that. So that's just a quick ChatGPT hack there. And then I'm gonna paste the transcript. Whilst ChatGPT generates that for you, it's worth saying that if you're really struggling to get ChatGPT to generate content that really aligns with your own tone of voice and how you speak, something that you can consider is copy and pasting a piece of content that you have previously written that really aligns with your own brand and your own tonality and sending that to ChatGPT and asking it to rewrite the email newsletter in the same tone of voice as that piece of content. When you send that command to ChatGPT, it will analyze the tone of voice of your content and it will rewrite whatever it's created to align with how you normally speak. So that's another hack. But this is what it's created for me. It's a bit long actually. Maybe I should have made the word count a little bit shorter. But anyway, hey everyone, hope you're all doing great. Today I want to share a bit about my journey as a full-time content creator. And then it breaks down the insights from my experience using my video and that is the end of my newsletter. Don't get me wrong, I never just copy and paste this and send this out. I always go through it and make tweaks so that it aligns properly with what I'm trying to say. And by no means is this process flawless. But if you are someone who doesn't love writing like I do. I hate it. This is a dream come true. Also, using AI in this way basically enhances your content creation process rather than replacing it completely. What I don't want you to necessarily do is to go into an AI tool and just say, write an email newsletter about becoming a full-time content creator because then what you're going to get back isn't from you. It hasn't come from you. It's not your experience. It's not your opinions. It's not your strategies. It's come from AI. Whereas when you use AI this way, everything has still come from you. This is all being written and created off the back of a piece of content that I produced myself. See what I'm saying? So you can copy that, make your own little tweaks, and that is an email newsletter. Or you can also send the command rewrite as a blog post. You know what I've never noticed before is when you send that command, it like formats it for you. So it gives you like proper headings and stuff. I didn't realize that before. And there you go, there's your blog post. That is two more pieces of content, guys. We are now up to seven pieces of content as a result of this one YouTube video, but we've still got a little bit further to go. Right, before we move on to the final type of content that we're gonna use for repurposing, I did just wanna show you a few additional parts of Taja AI in case you've not used it before to make sure that you get the best out of it when you do sign up. So, so far we focus a lot on its shorts feature and also on its transcript feature. So if we scroll down, I'm gonna show you a few other features that it has. It has this title optimization feature where it will give you suggestions for your title and also show you what it would look like once you actually upload it. What I also love about this section here is that it will take your thumbnail and minimize it, which I find is really useful for checking that your photo is clear, your text is clear and that kind of stuff. Another thing that it gives you, and this is something that I use for pretty much every single YouTube video that I share, is an AI generated description, right? Now, what it's basically doing is analyzing your video and writing a description for your YouTube video using AI, including things like hashtags, a breakdown of what the video is going to include and chapters. And these chapters are usually pretty well generated as well. So they're pretty accurate. And chapters for anyone who doesn't know what they are, are essentially this little bits at the bottom of the screen where you're able to browse through my video and see the different chapters of my video and kind of navigate through my content that way, which I do recommend all creators include. It just makes for a better experience for your audience. So if you want to use a lot of the strategies that I've broken down today, and therefore you want to sign up to Taja, you can actually get a seven day free trial if you use a link in my description. And this is what what the different pricing packages look like when you join up. So there's three different options, starter, semi-pro and pro, and you can pick the option that suits your needs best. All right, so we're up to seven, I believe. Let's take it up to eight by creating one final piece of content. Now, this is going to be a short form vertical video, but it's gonna be different from the cut downs that we were talking about before. Instead, it's going to be in the style of a moving image video. That's just something that I like to call it. It's basically when you see those videos where the value is in the text on the screen and the background is very much just a video of someone doing something fairly mundane. So I call it moving image because it's basically an image with movement in it. It's like someone typing, someone going for a walk, someone laughing, someone driving their car. I don't know. It's basically content where the value isn't in the video, the value is in the text on the screen. So there's two things that we need in order for us to create this type of content as a result of this main YouTube video. The first is some valuable text to include. And the second is some background content. Now, if we talk about the background content first or the moving image content, there's a few different places you can get this. You can either get this from your actual YouTube video. So if you were doing a vlog, for example, there will probably be some form of B-roll in there of maybe 
you walking down the street, of you making dinner, making a coffee. You want to extract that video content and you want to use that specific part as the backdrop for this style of content. If you didn't have that though, and you don't have a bunch of moving images for you to pick from just sitting in your library, you could actually explore using something like stock video footage. This is when you go onto platforms like Storyblocks, for example, type in a keyword and you'll be able to get access to different videos that you can actually use in your own content, right? I'll put an example of what you might want to use on the screen. So the other bit that you're going to need is the actual text to overlay on top of your moving image. Now, you normally want to focus on writing something that is educational, inspirational in some way. Like those are usually the types of value that work really well for this style of content. So fortunately for you, ChatGPT has already created a summary of some of your key moments throughout your video. So all you have to do is scroll back through some of the content that is generated for you. For example, the blog post, pick one specific section, highlight it. So here I'm going to write this. I'm going to highlight this section facing the fear. Then I'm going to send ChatGPT another command and I'm going to say, summarize into one inspirational sentence. Let's see if it can do that. I think I spelled inspirational wrong there, but it doesn't matter. So what it's basically done there is it's generated overcoming the fear of being seen is a journey of challenging your core beliefs and embracing your growth, regardless of how many followers you have. That's, that's nice. Stop it. I actually love that. I'm going to use that. You can do that for every single section in your video, right? So for me, I can create one, two, three, four, five, six. I can extract six different sentences, which are inspirational, or educational from this one YouTube video, overlay that on top of stock videos or little snippets from my main YouTube video. And as a result, I could have additional video content. That one video, as long as it's under 60 seconds long, can be shared as a YouTube short, a TikTok and a reel. So actually that is additional three more people pieces of content, which brings our grand total up to a nice even 10. I didn't actually calculate that beforehand, so I wasn't sure how many pieces of content we were going to create. But from that one YouTube video, we have now created 10 pieces of content for us to distribute across our other channels. All of that you can get done within 30 minutes using the systems and processes that I shared with you today. Crazy, right? I hope you found this video useful. If you did, I recommend watching this video next. It's all about how I became a full-time content creator in literally like six slash seven months. It was pretty quick and it was a pretty wild journey. I also recommend that you check out Taja AI so that you're able to follow the processes and systems that I broke down with you today. The link is of course in my description and don't forget you can get a seven day free trial when you use my link. Thank you so much for watching this video as always. I cannot wait to see you in the next one.